Hey, uh, Human Click File Support here. So in this video, I'm just going to go over how we can configure the progress bar element. So we currently have a simple page set up with no content, so we'll start by adding in an element. We can click on content to get a sub-selection of just the content-related elements. We'll add in the progress bar. You can get into the settings by clicking on the element itself, or by hovering over it and clicking on the gears icon. Here, there's a number of things we can adjust, starting with the top margin. Then we can adjust the font or the text that actually appears inside of the progress bar. We can choose a font family. We can set a background color. If we want, we can click on the Themes tab to choose from a number of pre-built themes, including an animated one. We can get some additional configuration options by clicking on the Advanced tab. By default, the Styles tab will be pre-selected. Here, we can choose a percent width, which is what percent we want the progress bar to show, from 0 all the way up to 100. We can adjust the overall size of the element, choosing from small, medium, or large. We can add some text shadow. We can adjust the text style, choosing from bold, italic, or bold and italic. We can adjust the justification of the text, choosing from left, right, or center. We can adjust the offset color, which is the portion of the progress bar that is not currently filled. To make this a little bit more obvious, I'm going to adjust the color on the section that contains it. So here we can choose from white or black as well as a transparent white, which will partially show the color behind it, and transparent black, which again will partially show the color behind it. We can add a shadow, choosing from soft, mild, or hard, which will go around the entire element. We can adjust the corners from zero to 20 pixels, zero being square corners, and 20 being more rounded. And finally, we can choose whether or not we want to have a border, which will appear around the portion of the percent bar um, that is filled in for us. Finally, we can set up an animation by clicking on the animation tab. We can set up a time delay, choosing from fade in or fade in with scale. If I set this to one minute and 30 seconds, for example, the progress bar will not actually appear on the screen until 1 minute and 30 seconds after the page has initially been loaded. Finally, we can set up an animation, choosing from on-page load or on-page scroll. On-page load will take effect as soon as the page is loaded. On-page scroll will only take effect when the element in question comes into view for the user. Finally, we can choose a style and we can set a delay in milliseconds. So hopefully this helps clear things up a little bit in terms of how you can use the progress bar element inside of the ClickFunnels editor. If you do have some more questions though or anything like that, definitely go ahead and let us know in support chat.